Hi, I'm Carl from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. In this episode, I will show you how to integrate Huawei DriveKit into your app. Huawei DriveKit provides cloud storage for your apps, allowing users to store files, including photos, videos, and documents, as well as download, synchronize, and view these files. Huawei DriveKit provides a wide range of easy-to-use services, including basic functions such as file upload, download, and synchronization, file management functions such as file change tracking, and a convenient search function, app data storage and recovery, RESTful APIs and support for app access on non-Android devices. Huawei DriveKit allows for reliable file management, multi-device collaboration, and secure data storage. It also provides comprehensive data protection, empowering users to manage their data securely and conveniently. In this episode, I'll show you how to create an Android app that is capable of using Huawei DriveKit services. By integrating Huawei DriveKit into your app, the app will allow users to manage and edit files in Huawei Drive with ease. Now, let's get started. First, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, give your app an app package a name, and then click Finish to create an Android project. Then, on the official Huawei Developers website, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, click New, and enter the necessary information to create a project. Let's move on to the Develop tab. When the pop-up appears, enter your app's package name, which must be the name you gave when first creating the project. Now, click the Settings icon in the upper left corner, select Manage APIs, and check that both Account Kit and Drive Kit are enabled. Then click Overview and download the configuration file AG Connect Services. Store the configuration file to the app directory. Let's open the Build Gradle file and add the Huawei Maven repository as well as the App Gallery Connect dependencies. Once these steps have been completed, open the Build Gradle file in the app directory. Add the App Gallery Connect plugin, Huawei ID and DriveKit dependencies and your app signature configurations. Open the Activity Main file in the App directory and include the Content Main layout. Then open the Content Main file and add the Text View and Button Components for controlling file reading and writing. Now, open the Main Activity file. The Main Activity class implements the OnClick Listener API. Here, add all required global variables, permissions, and supported file formats. In the OnCreate method, you first need to add a condition for check-in permissions. If there are no required permissions, your app can automatically request them from the system. Then, add text views and set event listeners for buttons. Tapping the buttons will trigger the onClick method, which will perform different processing for the corresponding button. Everything's going smoothly so far, right? Great, let's continue. The drive login method and construct all required request parameters in it. Make sure you also had Huawei ID Auth Manager for executing signing requests. When a user signs in, a new page should open up, so you need to add the onActivityResult method. Your app checks the sign-in status by referring to the parameters returned using this method. Following a successful sign-in attempt, your app obtains access token and union ID and prepares the authentication information. Once authorization is obtained, the message login OK is displayed. Now, let's add the upload files method, which is used to implement file upload operations. File upload and download are asynchronous operations and consume many system resources. With this in mind, you should run the corresponding code in a new subthread rather than in the main thread. To do so, you first need to check for null values, ensuring that the context parameters are valid. Next, run build drive to create a drive instance. Construct the required request parameters and create folders as well as upload files based on this instance. Let's move on to add the query files method. As mentioned a moment ago, you first need to check for null values, ensuring that the context parameters are valid. Then, construct all required request parameters and execute the request based on the text field value. Next, check the return results, and if the result is valid, 
print the corresponding file name. Add the download files method, construct all required request parameters, and execute the download request based on the drive instance. We have now completed coding. Let's run the demo and test what we've been building. Tap the login button. The message login OK will appear when successfully signed in. Enter the name of the file to be uploaded in the text field and then tap create folder and upload file to upload the file. Next, enter the name of the file that you are searching for in the second text field and tap query file. The file you just searched for will be displayed in the text view under the button. Finally, tap download the file. This will download the file that you just searched for. Well, there you go. You've now successfully integrated Huawei DriveKit into your app. That's all for today's episode. Please leave any questions you have in the comment area below or visit the Huawei developers website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.